Hey everyone, I have another tutorial for you today. This is a Lightworks tutorial talking about rendering and exporting. This has been a source of a lot of questions and comments uh, from a lot of users, and I'm happy to address the, some of the main uh, problems that I've been receiving. So uh, basically, rendering and exporting is the process of turning your video into a file that can be viewed by others. When you save your project with Lightworks, when you go ahead and you close the program, it'll automatically save your project files and everything that's open the way you see it here. But in order to make that viewable, to upload it online or to share it, you're going to have to go one step further and you're going to have to export the video. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. There's a number of ways you can do it. There's a number of different things that you can tell the program to export. Uh, you can export bins, racks. You can also export uh, your edit and your timeline. Okay, so once you're ready to export your project, you can go over to the toolbox. You can click on this uh, export tool and it's going to open up a, a box with a bunch of options. The first thing that you can change is the content, what you want to export. You can export the entire project, you can export bins and racks, or you can export active logs such as the timeline and individual clips as you see down here. I'm going to export the timeline in this open edit window here, project edit. And then you can go down and you can change the format and compression settings as well as frame rate and size of the video. So you can choose the format for the video as well. There's the traditional file types such as AVI, MOV, MPEG. QuickTime, AVC, HD, and there's also Blu-ray and DVD options for those of you using the Pro version. Uh, you also can choose the compression uh, codec here as well. This is going to determine the file size and quality of the video. If you use an uncompressed format, you're going to have very large file sizes. If you use one of these codecs or one of the Matrox VFW codecs available online, you're going to have smaller file size, but you're going to have good quality as well. And you can also choose the frame rate and size of the video. You want to usually match these to your original video settings from when you started the project. Okay, so there's also some other settings that you can change here, mostly dealing with uh, audio from here. There's some options that you can change. Um, you can also change the sample rate, sample size, etc. Um, and then when you're finally ready to export the project, you can change the destination folder that you'd like to export it to. I'm just going to put this on the desktop and then you can also change the file name as well um, to whatever you would like and when you're ready when you're satisfied with all the export settings you can click on start and it will render your video. Uh, hopefully this was a helpful tutorial I'm definitely going to be getting back into making more of these on a regular basis if you have any suggestions for other tutorials for Lightworks just send me an email or comment on the video and uh, we'll do our best to, to help you out. So this is just finishing up here and um, you can tell it's got some settings here that lets you know what this project uh, rendering settings were and also the destination for the file as well. Let's you know the export is complete and that's pretty much it for rendering. 